gonna rise up, put some gas in my old pickup. I wanna see that city limit sign in my rear view mirror. Been a long time coming, wanna get these tires to hum in. Well, I finally hit rock bottom, Lord, and it's all up from here. I'm going back to my home in Colorado, to that place where I first saw the light. Talk about love, talk about grace, meet my Savior face to face in that little cowboy church in the pines. I've been a wandering fool. Well, I broke all the rules, but there's nothing like a preacher. This was written in response to the organic food movement. There's the range of the buffalo, and that of the cattle so wide. The range in mom's old kitchen where the steak and eggs were fried. But the wildest range I ever saw was that of the biped beast that roved at will over hill and draw, up north where west meets east. For our herd it filled the valley, the sight made my heart quicken. Their numbers far too great to tally on the plains of the free range chicken. We drove those flocks through heat, rain, and blizzards to where they packaged the giblets, and also drumsticks, thighs, necks, and gizzards, and also the famed fast food niblets. This flock of feathered finger food to herd was quite an art, because even when in a tractable mood, we're not so overly smart. But one night the flock was bedded down, it was black as a Model T, so dark you couldn't taste a sound, it was too quiet to see. It was also unsettlingly sultry, but the trouble began with a rooster who, attempting an act of adultery, snuck up on a hen and goosed her. Such an indignant squawk you never did hear, and the whole flock sprang up at full speed. I cried out the worst warning of the frontier. Wake up, boys! We've got a stampede! For our herd it filled the valley, the sight made my heart quicken. Their numbers far too great to tally on the plains of the free-range chicken. Those scaly-foot scalawags sped like a storm, like thunder they rolled, like a wave, swept over the prairie, a cackling swarm. The first to get trampled was Dave. That bunch of birds, when they got loose, could not be catch-a-torried. Those poltroons surely cooked our goose, and the snapping of beaks was horrid. Jake the cook, whose food we supped, was overrun by pullets. I found him wasted in his cups, pistol drawn, and plumb out of bullets. Our good friend Lou, who rode on the wing, his corpse I draped the crepe on. It must indeed be a horrible thing to be run over and crushed by a capon. And good old Roy, a stalwart hand, he said his last amens. I found where he made his last stand against hurricanes of hens. And Ted, he left his bed and fled. I saw where he had sped and led some well-fed crossbred, rode on red, but he couldn't stay ahead. He's dead. For chickens, even though organic, are vexatious, volatile, volcanic, are dangerous when mad or manic, pestilential when possessed by panic. By luck, I was a sole survivor. Close by, my ostrich was saddled. I hopped on her and hard I did drive her. I gave her her beak. We skedaddled. But I no longer have the urge to drive those western herds, because I admit I've lost my courage, for I'm now afraid of birds. I heard it filled the valley, the sight made my heart quicken. Their numbers far too great to tally on the plains of the free-range chicken.